Hey guys, I'm Faith. If you're new to my channel, I'm an aspiring author, the mom of a toddler, and I'm fighting cancer. Today I wanted to do a fun, amusing, lighthearted video for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope it entertains you. I'm going to talk about four types of people and their behaviors that drive me crazy. First is Micromanagers. Micromanagers are people that hover over you and watch every single little move you make and have to make comments on every little thing that you're doing wrong. Hey, you missed the spot over there. Right there. You missed some dirt. Have you more dirt? Take your tyranny elsewhere. Fine. <laughs> this type of person that drives me totally crazy are know-it-alls. Someone knows someone that always has to put their two cents in no matter what the topic is, and they think that they're an expert on everything, even though 99.99% .99 of what they have to say is total bullcrap. This is usually just annoying when it comes to a topic like cancer and these people are trying to promote their hocus pocus cures. This can be downright dangerous. I have cancer and I'm getting chemotherapy. Chemotherapy doesn't work. You have to try my diet plan. The only things that you can eat are three grapefruits and four cloves of garlic every day, and your cancer will be gone in no time. I think I'll stick with what my oncologist is recommending, but thank you for the suggestion. Okay, so you don't like grapefruits. Well, there is another solution. You can just sleep hanging upside down. Your cancer will be gone in a matter of weeks. Upside down? You mean like a bat? Yeah, I mean, I guess, kind of like a bat. You've never heard of a bat with cancer, right? Have you? Doesn't work. I've already been sleeping like that for years. In the United States right now, things are pretty polarized politically. And this is getting to the point where people whose views align with different political parties are having difficulty maintaining friendships, marriages are getting split up because people are just so intense and heated up when it comes to anything about politics nowadays that they can't even disagree calmly anymore. Someone is bound to just blow up. So for me personally, I just try to stay out of the political conversations. But lately it seems like no matter what I say, somehow it gets twisted to be political and an argument ensues. So my next thing that really aggravates me are people that are basically radicalized politically and will look for any reason to be mad. It's a nice day today. Oh, so you think that it's nice that children are being locked in cages? Well, no, of course not. You think police brutality is nice? No. I never said. So you think thousands of people dying from COVID is nice? No, I was talking about the weather. That's it, you're disgusting. I can't be friends with you anymore. Huh? What just happened? Next is extremely negative people who have a problem for every solution. I had a really bad day. Sorry to hear that. Do you want to go for a walk and talk about it? My legs hurt. Oh, okay. Well, how about you relax and take a nice hot bath? Bathing dries out my skin and makes it really itchy. Okay, well, do you want to go out for some ice cream? It'll make me fat. I can't have ice cream. I'll get fat. Maybe talking to a therapist will help. It's too expensive. Do you like being miserable? Oh, of course not. Where would you get that from? Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you had fun. I hope you found it entertaining. If you're not already subscribing to my channel, please hit that subscribe button right now, and I will see you guys next time.